It is a women's strawweight matchup between Thug Rose Namajunas and Angela Hill. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything given to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Well, if looks could kill DC, here is Thug Rose Namajunas, the former UFC strawweight champion, and still one of the best, if not the best, 115-pound fighter in the world. When you watch Namajunas and she looks at her opponents, it's stone cold. She's looking right through them. You see her opponents try to engage her in trash talk to try to break the psyche of Nami Yunus. And she just looks it down, stares right through it, and says, you know what? On tomorrow, I get to show you with my fists, my knees, and my feet. And when she's fighting, she's one of the best fighters this division's ever seen. And we saw that the night she knocked out Ioana and Jacek right. in the very first round. You ain't winning a staring contest with no. Thug Rose Nami Yunus, and you're probably not winning a cage fight against her either. <laughs> Nami Yunus is back for more here tonight. Our tale of the day for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 14 wins, 12 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose Namayunas! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against Clint, the striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to recover. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Big kick lands. Duffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick, no good. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Good stick. Real nice body kick land. Big knee there. Circling towards the left now. And she's back in the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Elbow lands there, nice job by Angela Hill. Great punch. Ooh. Oh! Pretty 
good right hand. Back and forth we go. That was a jab. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by him. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground. Jill's got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ethan Biggs called the stop of this contest. At two minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. You're playing the winner by tap out, Fog Rose Marina! Oh, well, there she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grapple.